In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to use automation to create a record in Salesforce. I'll be going over an example, how to set it up and demonstrating how it works. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Hopefully it will be of value to you. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up Salesforce for your business, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to automatically create a record inside of Salesforce. So let me talk you through the example for this particular video. So I'm gonna head over to my opportunities and what I would like to do is when opportunity is equal to closed one, I would like to automatically create a record in the cases area. Now the reason I wanna use this as an example is because often when you close an opportunity as closed one, you would then move them over to the onboarding. So I'm kind of using a cases as my imaginary onboarding. And then once they're in the cases, they can then begin the onboarding process. Okay. And that can be done automatically without anyone having to manually create a record, manually begin the onboarding for them. So what we need to do is go to the cog in the top right hand corner, go to setup. Uh, and under the setup page here. And then on the left hand side, we need to go and use the quick find and I just recommend searching flow, okay? So search flow and then under process automation, we want to go to the flows option. So go ahead and select that. Now from here, what we need to do is create a new flow. So go to the top right hand corner and just select the new flow option. And then this is where we need to set up or begin to set up our flow. So firstly, what we wanna do is select record triggered flow. So this flow is gonna be launched when a record is created, updated or deleted, okay? And what by updated, we mean the stage is equal to closed one. So we can then go ahead and press the create button once we've selected record triggered flow. We do have these additional options. I'm not gonna go into those in this particular video. Let's so go ahead and press create. And now we need to go ahead and define our trigger. Okay, so our trigger object is going to be opportunities. So what we firstly need to do is search opportunity. And as you can see here, we have got the opportunity object and we need to go ahead and select that. So for configure trigger, we've then got a few different options, okay? So trigger this flow when a, a record is created, updated, created or updated, or when it is deleted. As you can see, we've got a few different options. In this particular instance, I think it's probably best if we just select when a record is created, uh, sorry, when a record is updated, this one here. The reason I say this is because it's highly unlikely that a record is gonna be created and the stage is gonna be equal to closed one. Now, I'm sure there probably are a few instances when that might happen, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the configure trigger, trigger this flow when a record is updated. And then we need to set the entry conditions. And this is just setting out the condition requirements of when the stage is equal to close one. So if you use the drop down, you can see here we've got a few different and all conditions. We've got all conditions are met, any condition is met, custom condition logic, which is very useful, and then a formula to evaluate whether it's true or not. In this particular instance, I just need to use that all conditions are met, so the and basis, as we've only got one condition. And then search the field. So in this instance, I'm gonna search the stage name, and then I want it to be equal to, and then of course, closed one. So what I'm saying is when a record is updated and the stage name is equal to closed one, then trigger this new record to be created. And then we need to select when to run the flow for updated records. So the two options are every time record is updated. So every time the record gets saved again and again and again, which is not what we want in this instance. We just want it only once when the the record is equal to close one. So it will only happen once. So we wanna say only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirements. And then we can optimize this flow for, and we've got fast field updates or actions and related records. In this instance, we need to select actions and related records. And then once you're happy, just go ahead and press the done button. We've now created our trigger. Now we need to go ahead and create our action. So in order to do so, just go ahead and press the plus button. And then you, we have a number of different options here. Scroll to the very bottom and we can go ahead and see we've got a create records option. We wanna go ahead and select that. So now we just need to give our trigger, uh, sorry, our action a name. So I'm just gonna call this create case record as our label. And then we have the option to select how many records to create. So in this instance, we're just creating one record and then how to set the record fields. Use all values from a record. So if we're creating a record in the same object, you can select that. However, we are creating a record 
outside of that object we're going to create a case so we then need to go ahead and select use separate resources and literal values and then we can go ahead and search the object that we're creating a record in and in this instance it is case so go ahead and select the case option and then what we need to do is set the fields for our case and we can do this using our opportunities field so the data from the opportunities can actually be transferred over to cases automatically which is really really useful so we can go ahead and scroll through all of the different case fields now we've got loads of options but there are going to be a few that are business required so we have to have information in that particular field however i'm just going to fill in a few different pieces of information so we've got account id so we want to map the account with the account from the opportunity so in order to do that then just go ahead and select enter value go to record and then just go ahead and search account and then you can see account id so the account id or the account associated with the opportunity will now also be associated with the case and we can go ahead and do that for contact as well so if i search contact id and then go to my value and then go to record and then just search contact i can then associate the contact from the opportunity with the case that i want to create and again we can go ahead and continue doing this so if i go ahead and search opportunity and then we can connect the opportunity to the case so if i then go to record and go opportunity name or opportunity id is the one we are looking for that one there that means that the opportunity will be directly connected with the um, with the case as well now if i head back to my main page here and just go to cases i just want to see which fields are business required so if i go ahead and press new to create a new record i can see here that the status and case origin are actually required so we need to make sure that we map these in our flow builder so if i go to field and then status and then we make sure we enter in a value. So we've got the different pick list options. I'm going to go ahead and select new. And then we also have case origin. So again, if we select case origin and we can select from the different pick list values. In this instance, let's just use web just as an example for this video. So one additional thing we might want to do is add a subject for our case. So if we go ahead and search subject as the field that we are looking for, and then we go ahead and enter in the value. So if we go to record opportunity, we do actually have a couple of options. So we can just write out what the that we can copy what the opportunity name is so if i search opportunity you can see we've got opportunity id so i can just create that as the name the alternative is we can just write in information so i could just for example for this video uh, this is a test uh, for the video and that will actually write out the subject as is written there okay so we've got a few different options hopefully this has made sense we're just mapping the data from the opportunities record to the cases record and we can do this for absolutely any record within our salesforce system once you are then happy go ahead and press the done button and all you need to do is press the save in the top right hand corner i'm just going to call this example flow and then go ahead and press save the api name will automatically be filled out and then i'm just going to go ahead and activate our new flow and what i'll do now is i'm going to head back to our opportunities i'm going to find a random opportunity so let's just use this one here for example this uh, in fact this one this is not closed one and then we'll move it to close select close stage use the drop down menu and press close one press the save button and then head over to our cases and you can see here that this is a test for the video this new case has now been automatically created um, and that is how to automatically create records inside of salesforce if you want to then head back deactivate the particular flow and then you can make changes to it as you wish hopefully this video has been of use and i'll see you in a moment's time hopefully you're now familiar with how to set up automations to create records in salesforce you appreciate how valuable of an automation this is and hopefully you can apply it to your salesforce system if you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful please consider giving it a like possibly even subscribing if you have any further questions at all you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and i'll do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have thank you ever so much for watching and i'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video thank you and goodbye